I met Joe Newton in 1983, and I met him through my father, who was my coach. Clearly, Joe's legacy is the most successful high school coach of all time in the States. Uh, certainly a legacy of excellence. He was an American team manager at the 1988 Olympic Games. People tend to forget that. The only high school coach ever to make it into the team management of an Olympic team. That was, always, that was always traditionally the preserve of the college coaches, you know, the Sam Bells from Indiana, Brooks Johnson, Stanford, those, those, that kind of guy, those, that level of, of coach. For a high school coach to make it was pretty, well, it was unique. Good coaches are instinctively very good psychologists. You don't need a sports psychologist if you have a good coach. And Joe understood absolutely what made every athlete, man, and occasionally woman in his team tick. And I think that they often say that great coaches know an awful lot about the events that they coach. I actually think great coaches know more about the people than they, that they coach than the events that they inevitably discipline in. I've been at, the, at York High School where CEOs of major banks of, of direct, redirected chauffeur-driven cars from O'Hare Airport to the gym at, high, at, at uh, York High School just to say, hi, I'm here, you know, and, you know, see you again in two or three years' time. Joe Newton was, is, and will always be a great inspiration for me. He, I came to, to train in Chicago with him before the 84 Games. Uh, I went there six weeks before when the previous year had been very difficult in health terms for me. I'd only just made the British team in 84 and I think Joe was an inseparable part of my 1984 Olympic win in Los Angeles six weeks later.